Shalom guys. Um, shalom. We're in the in Laodicea. I could see in Revelation 3. Yeah, I think here you can see. I'll show you guys. Where it says uh, the church of Laodicea. So we're in Laodicea. And I'll show you the view. It's all ruins now. Um, we've been uh, exploring this place now for a few minutes been from one church in the book of Revelation to another so um, You know it makes me think that the uh, Whatever we've been building as humans is we call it church is all um, Vanity it's all vain so nonsense to be to be honest you see these churches some of them were told they were doing well they were um they had left their first love they need to go back like the church in ephesus um or uh, the church in laodicea was was told you're either cold neither cold nor hot and because you're neither cold nor hot i will spew you out of my mouth basically that is exactly what you see here all of them seven churches are now ruins ruins look at it look at loud eyes here ruins uh, whatever you're building tell me tell me how do you explain this this was the to the church in loud eyes here are we from um revelation as i walk down because we're on the move now i'll find it and I'll read it. Just give me a second. One second, yeah. Then you can walk yeah. straight this way, end up by the Syrian gate, and turn right to get to the bus. Okay. So I'll show you the view. This is loud ice here. All ruins now. All ruins. All ruins. All ruins. Yeah. Now it says this is Revelation 3, um, 14 to 21, which is the end. It says, Unto the angel of the church in Laodicea, write the words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the origin of God's creation. Even called the origin of God's creation, the angel of the church in Laodicea. The origin of God's creation. Yeah? It says, I know your works. You are neither cold nor hot. I wish that you were either cold or hot, but because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. This is exactly what you what you find in Laodicea. Look at it. And then it says, for you say, I am rich. I have prospered and I need nothing. You do not realize that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. Therefore, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire, so that you may be rich, and white robes to clothe you, and to keep the shame of your nakedness from being seen, and salve to anoint your eyes, so that you may see. Then it says, I reprove and discipline those whom I love. Be earnest, be earnest. Therefore, and repent. Listen, I am standing at the door knocking. I stand at the door and knock. It's exactly the same thing Jesus was saying, always saying. I stand at the door knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come into you and if eat with you and you with me. To the one who conquers, I will give a place with me on my throne, just as I myself conquered and sat down with my father on his throne. Then it says in the final verse 22, it says, let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. And that is Laodicea. Now in ruins. Utter ruins. All the things, all the buildings we call churches. 100,000 seater. 120,000 seater. 144,000 seater. All of them, vain, vain, 
nonsense that will be destroyed. Look at Laodicea. That was prophesied. Look at Ephesus. We were in Ephesus yesterday. We're going to uh, Colossae now. They say there's nothing there to see. Just the sign that here was the church at Colossae. And then if you think about the whole thing, you really lose interest in so many things, you know. And I thank God for the privilege to come to places like this. I give God the glory. Um, it's a privilege. And it's an opportunity to um, reflect and think about, yeah, and think about all the places we call churches. In 100, 200, 300 years, are they going to exist? Or will they become like this? Yeah. Think about it. And I say to you anyway, as we see you on the next video, and I say shalom.